We'll come to the open and then 3MCUJ. Opens up. Stand by Jay. Fort Smith and Northwest Arkansas's best local news. This is 4029. Live, local, late breaking. You're watching 4029. Mike J. One of the largest gun shows in the area has wrapped up their first day of sales. In recent weeks, gun shows have come under... We'll come to a transition and then go to Ram 4. Connecticut. 4029's Tony Russell spoke with several gun owners about the rules of a gun show. He joins us live with that report. Mike Tony. Organizers tell me about 3,000 people walked through... Package the with BMW. ...inside the Northwest Arkansas Convention Center in Springdale. And what I found inside was higher prices and more vigilant gun sales. Roland W. People from all over took to the crowded aisles of the RK Gun and Knife Show in Springdale. Booths were buzzing over people looking to buy or sell. Jeff West came back this year to see what the gun show had to offer. Is there a little bit more vigilant who they let their guns get in, what kind of hands they get in? Yeah, I would say so. I mean, some of them like that, they'll even put signs up, you don't even touch them, you know. Gun collectors were set up at the many tables too. It's up to the collectors if they use background checks or not. There are times when I've refused to sell to someone. Collectors say they aren't worried about who they sell their guns to. They trust them. They're the best people we've got in this country. They want to do things legally, uh, and they're not the people that really harm other people. Stand by Tony. System the way it is. I am. It, I think there's more things going on that need to be looked at before the system of how guns are bought and sold. Tony's up. Now the rules are pretty tricky. The show tells me that a personal gun collector can sell to only Arkansas residents. And if someone outside the state decides to buy a gun here... Stand by for the box. The box we're doing two with Jay. Box is up. Reporting live tonight, Tony Russell. Mike Jay. Good to know. And Jay have a tag on two and read the next story on two. 9 a.m. to 4 p.m. The man who's joined forces with the NRA to add more security to our nation's schools will be live. We'll turn Jay to three key at the bottom. Sunrise. Asa Hutchinson will be here during the 8 o'clock hour talk about his plan for our schools. Turn him over to three. Obama promised quick action on new gun control laws following the school shooting in Newtown, Connecticut. Gun control advocates point to what they call the transition in a package in X. A glaring problem. In most places, the rules for buying guns are far less strict at gun shows than they are with licensed gun dealers. Mark Greenblatt reports now on how the nation is reacting to the fear of stricter gun laws. Rolling X. The shadow of Newtown fell over this gun show in nearby Stamford, Connecticut. The organizers, Westchester Collectors Incorporated, declined a request from the town's mayor to cancel the event. If you cancel it, a lot of people are hurt by it because a lot of people here make a living from this. Four other gun shows in the region around Newtown have been called off. Another has agreed not to display military-style semi-automatic rifles and their high-capacity magazines. But attendance is up at gun shows. Out of the like package, we'll have a transition and then 3MCUJ. That amid talk of new gun bans coming out of Washington. A lot of people really think the government's going to take some strong actions to limit uh, purchase and possession. So everybody wants to wants to get their toys. The FBI reports a record 2.8 million background checks of would-be gun buyers in 2012, a 49% increase in just one year. Some gun stores have trouble keeping their shelves filled. We sold 50-some rifles in three days. And more people are taking shooting instruction. We went from one class a month to two to three classes a month. The controversy over gun policy is now pitting privacy against the press. In upstate New York, the editors of the Journal News have made public the names and addresses of everyone holding a gun permit in two counties north of New York City, complete with a map. Now, a third county is refusing to hand over its list of permit holders and sticking to its guns. The newspaper has now hired armed guards in the wake of an angry backlash. Mark Greenblatt, ABC News, New York. Transition, Mike J. Well, it's a cloudy day across most of the area with freezing conditions expected tonight. Stand by Drew on the wall. Drew Michaels joins us now. Drew, is there a Mike Drew? No, no more snow. We had a little snow this morning across northeastern Oklahoma, northwest Arkansas. We've got video coming up of that a little bit later in the show. We're all clear and you supered out the radar, uh, which is good news, but that also means temperature. Out of weather, we'll come to 3MCU. Sky, 38 degrees in Fayetteville, 39 in Rogers, 40 in Eureka Springs. 43 in Salisaw, Fort Smith at 45, Boonville at 48. So tomorrow morning, getting ready uh, for some of your early morning plans. Maybe heading to church, out the door, low to mid-20s for lows. 
in northwest Arkansas. Upper 20s surround the River Valley, and we will warm into the 40s and 50s by tomorrow afternoon. But we are going to be watching our next storm system, which is arriving on the west coast right here. This guy is going to drop into the slot and move uh, throughout eastern Oklahoma to western Arkansas by the middle of next week. And we could be talking about one to two inches of rainfall, much needed rain. I'll let you know when you'll need that umbrella and when you can put it away. Coming up in your 4029 weather forecast. My J. Tonight, the man being why? six year old girl is sitting in jail waiting for his next court. Rolling Y. Zachary Holly will be in court Monday morning for charges stemming from the November death of Jersey Bridgman. On Thursday, he was formally charged with kidnapping, rape, and capital murder. The last time Holly made a court appearance, there Camera was three key will be next because another inmate had attacked Holly. Two convicted felons could be freed from B -O -B jail after being pardoned by the governor of Arkansas. Rolling Z. Mike Beebe says he plans to pardon Terry Dale and Floyd Gaddis. Dale was convicted in 1998 for possession of marijuana. Gaddis was convicted in 1981 for burglary. BB says the men have paid their fines and completed the jail time required for parole. The public has 30 days to comment on the pardons before they become official. Roland W. Folks in Oklahoma are getting healthier, but there's still a lot of work to be done. Oklahoma's health is ranked 43rd in the nation, and that's up from 2009. Smoking, obesity, and sedentary lifestyles result in thousands of deaths every year. The state plans to do more to get itself out of the bottom 10 unhealthy states. On Monday, an announcement will be made concerning our local highways and interstates. The this Arkansas is a reader. We'll come to Department a transition and a VO and X at the bottom. The project will improve Interstate 540 between I-40 and Highway 22 in Fort Smith. The cost of the project, $78.8 million. Transition, Monday, roll next. will be available for people in Sebastian and Crawford counties who can't pay their heating bills. Certain low-income guidelines MCU teases be next. in order to qualify. You can apply in person or by calling the Crawford Sebastian Community Development Council. Again, the assistance starts on Monday. The U.S. Supreme Court will hear Stand a by why? plea to Roland be reunited with his daughter. The case comes from our own backyard, and tonight we'll review the details as to why the father first gave up his rights. But first, Tower cams up. Drew Michaels has your extended forecast after the break. Stand by to go to break. We're rolling. 